symmetry, symmetrical and asymmetrical figures. Look at this shape. Can you draw a line and divide it into two equal parts? Yes. Look at this shape. Can you draw a line and divide it into two equal parts? Yes. Look at this shape. Can you draw a line and divide it into two equal parts? No. Look at this shape. Can you draw a line and divide it into two equal parts? No. We can divide some shapes into two equal parts with a line. We call such shapes symmetric shapes. We cannot divide some shapes into two equal parts with a line. We call such shapes asymmetric shapes. Look at this shape. Can we repeat this shape and get a semicircle? Yes, we can. Let's do it. Uh oh, that's not the way to do it. We have to flip it and then put it next to this piece. Now we have a semicircle. If we fold this shape, we will get the shape we started with. Where will you fold this shape to do that? Along this line. This line has a special name. It is called the line of symmetry. The dotted line is called the line of symmetry. The two shapes on each side of the line of symmetry are equal. If you fold the shape on the dotted line, the parts will fit each other perfectly. Is this a line of symmetry for this shape? No. The two shapes on each side of the line of symmetry are equal. But if you fold the shape on the dotted line, the parts will not fit each other perfectly. Is the figure symmetric? If yes, draw the line of symmetry. Yes. Is the figure symmetric? If yes, draw the line of symmetry. Yes. Is the figure symmetric? If yes, draw the line of symmetry. No. Is the figure symmetric? If yes, draw the line of symmetry. Yes. Is the figure symmetric? If yes, draw the line of symmetry. No. Is the figure symmetric? If yes, draw the line of symmetry. No. Is the figure symmetric? If yes, draw the line of symmetry. Yes. Is the figure symmetric? If yes, draw the line of symmetry. Yes. Is the figure symmetric? If yes, draw the line of symmetry. No. Did you understand the idea of symmetry? Yes? That's great!